Welcome to Foam Week TV, sponsored by IFTI. I'm Heather Westrell, and here's what's happening this week on Foam Week. Aloha Energy's flotation foam, a form of spray polyurethane foam, was recently utilized to restore a 40-year-old dredging barge used in the New York State Canal System. The application consisted of filling 10 flotation compartments inside the aging barge with foam in order to mitigate a loss of buoyancy. Aloha Energy's co-owner Tom Maletto says, our flotation foam provided the state of New York with an affordable way to get their barges back out there without needing to replace them. For full details on this story, read more on sprayfoam.com. What do all of these spray foam manufacturers have in common? IFTI DC315. The spray foam industry's best one product ignition and thermal barrier coating. The proof is in the testing. Thermaltech Insulation was recently contracted for an SPF project at James Madison University's historic Rockingham Memorial Hospital. The project consisted of applying closed cell SPF to the interior and exterior of the hospital, as well as below grade. Although the project is still underway, it is estimated that the Thermaltech crew will apply 40 sets of foam to a total spray area of 80,000 square feet. Next. While preparing for their production of Jonah, the crew from Sight & Sound Theater wanted to give the play's boat a realistic look and opted for the use of spray polyurethane foam to accomplish that feat. Sight & Sound brought in a crew from Foam Tech Insulation Service for the project, which consisted of applying Demolex Heatlock Soy 200 onto the boat's frame so that it could later be carved into the desired shape of the prop that would appear on stage. Isonine recently unveiled a world-first innovation, ProSeal Eco a 100% water-blown, medium-density closed-cell spray foam. The groundbreaking new product is set to change how the construction industry uses closed-cell SPF by not incorporating any ozone-depleting blowing agents. For more information on this new product, read the story on sprayfoam.com. Finally this week, sprayfoam.com would like to welcome its newest family member, River Jacks Lardieri, who was born to account executive Damian Lardieri and Casey Brogan on September 18th. Congratulations to the proud parents and best wishes go out to Little River. For more information on these stories and more, visit sprayfoam.com. I'm Heather Westrell and that's what's happening on Foam Week.